we got here? Oh, awesome. I've been waiting on this. You know what? This is a perfect day to do another box opening. I know, I know, it's been a while, but today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. This is cool, and I can't wait to show it to you. Stay tuned, because we're going to get started on the other side. Hold on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back indeed to No Redemption Outdoors. Thank you for joining me here in the cave today for a box opening. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correctly. And it's been some time since we last did a box opening. I think it's been since July of last year. It's kind of hard to believe, actually, when I think about it. That's It's hard to believe it's been that long, ladies and gentlemen. And I've gotten so many of your messages asking, Hey, NRO, when are you going to come back with another box opening? Well, today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. And what would cause me to dust off my camera? Well, that's obviously something different, something special. And so, without further ado, we are going to look today at the latest offering from Dark Horse Tackle. This is their premium subscription box known as the People's Champ box. Uh, the inaugural box, the very first in the series, was in February, and that's what this box is. But I also have the March box, and we're going to look inside both of them. And I have to tell you, I've looked around YouTube. I haven't seen any other box openings. Uh, so I thought, well, this is a great one to do because I'm sure there's a lot of curiosity about it. So let me tell you a bit of, about the box. First things first, as you can imagine, I have a lot of baits. And about 98% of them are, cus are uh, production baits. You know, the kind you buy, Tackle Warehouse, Bass Pro, etc. And most of those have come to me through the monthly subscription boxes. Well, lately I've taken to admiring the custom baits and really appreciating the, uh, you know, the artistic and the, you know, sort of the un unique nature of every bait because every one is uh, unique from any other. And I'm really, uh, and also they just seem to be better quality. So I was looking around for a good option to replace, say, all of my other subscription boxes. And sure enough, on my email comes the uh, announcement of the new People's Champ box. I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit pricey, $75. But they promise over $100 of value. Again, every bait is custom. And I thought, I'm gonna show these boxes to you guys. And I'm curious if you think uh, that it's a value at $75, or if you think that indeed there is a, over $100 of value. All right, so we're going to breeze through these pretty fast. So let's go ahead, and we're going to start out with the February box. And right on the top, as you would expect, is the What's in the Box card. And indeed, as you can see, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five baits. And they range in price from $12 all the way through $25. So these are clearly premium baits, ladies and gentlemen. On the back of this card, uh, there's a bit of a... Uh, uh, write up about the box and the second paragraph I think captures it. It says we call it the people's champ box for a dang good reason. Every single bait in this box is a custom hand painted bait by the best small businesses and artists across America. And ladies and gentlemen that's exactly what I'm looking for. As you know here on NRO we are very supportive of small businesses, American, USA based uh, a lot of these are in their garages or in their basement, and I am a huge supporter of these companies, so I'm very, very happy to uh, contribute. And then, of course, there is the sticker, and this is a granddaddy of a sticker, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you a good look at it there. This is, and it's got like a holographic color changing kind of thing going on, so it's a very cool sticker. And for somebody who really appreciates stickers, I have to tell you, this one's going to rank up there maybe as one of the best that I have. Kudos to you, uh, Dark Dark Horse. Uh, there is one other card in here. Uh, it looks like it's just kind of an appreciation card. You can scan that, get some info. I guess they do have a podcast that you can listen to, so I'll give you a look at it there. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the baits, and I want to get the uh, what's in the box card here so we can follow along. I'm going to set it here to the side. First thing up, uh, and this doesn't have a sticker or label on it, but I have been able to deduce that this is the Bobby Wasabi Custom Lures. This is uh, retail $12. 
I don't know what you call that color. It's some kind of a, I don't know, golden shad maybe. I don't know. Nice looking bait. As you can see, it's got the uh, weight transfer system. The hooks are nice and sharp. Got, of course, the feather tail there. Nice looking bait. All right, so again, that is the Bobby Wasabi Custom Lure, $12 retail. All right, next item, big guide bait here, folks. This is called the uh, Combat Lures Eye Slide. Again, we have some more stickers. I always like the stickers. Let me set this down, show you those. That looks like a business card. Ah, sugar, sugar is the color on this, sugar. Really, really nice. I, I hope the camera's capturing just the high quality of the paint job on this. Very, very nice. Got the split ring, of course, the soft tail, and they do provide an extra tail. Looks like it's a little different shape now that I uh, kind of look at it closer. So they give you a spare tail, a little different shape. Nice bait, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Combat Lures Eye Slide. They list this retail $25. So again, this is, this is pricey stuff. All right, next item is this is a uh, Lure Forge. They call this a, just a balsa crankbait. I can tell you it's two and a half flat side balsa crankbait, five to seven feet diving depth. Color on this is thread fin shad. This appears to be like a circuit board bill, I think. Of course, the split ring. Nice sharp hooks. Nice looking paint job. Very, very nice, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. Again, this is... This is why I bought these because they are. I, I just find so much more enjoyment in um, and and seeing that and this bait and knowing that somebody put time and effort into it and there is no other exactly like it. Very cool, I think. At any rate, that is the uh, what did you say that was again? Lure Forge Balsa Crank Bait, twenty-five dollars. Another uh, very premium bait. All right, next item. This is very cool. I saw this immediately when I opened the box. This is the uh, Robusto Topwater. And as you can see, again, they, they do include some stickers and a uh, card. And here, let me show you that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What a, just a beautiful piece of art. These uh, swivels here. I've not seen that before, so that's kind of cool. Again, good sharp hooks. And you can well imagine the action on the water that this will have. So very, very nice. And this is uh, priced at $18. So I that to me is a very good price for that bait. Just my opinion. All right, next item is Dark Corner Custom Baits. This is uh, it's called Shad. All right, give you a good look at it. Again, I'm very impressed by some of the quality of the paint jobs on these, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this has sort of the bristle tail, nice sharp hooks, uh, nice looking bait. And uh, again, that's $25. So, that's everything in the February box, folks. What do you think? We got five baits there. Uh, purported value, 25, 50, 75, 93, $105. Does that sound right to you guys? $105 worth of value in this box? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I think it's worth the 75 that I paid for it. So if it's worth what I paid for it, I guess I feel good about it. What do you guys think? And now I'm going to go ahead and open up the March box. So again, I'll give you a first look. And I put all the cards in the bottom, so I'll pull those out first. Again, we have the sticker, which I always appreciate. Uh, again, we have the what's in the box card. Okay. Small business or bust. Yes, indeed. I agree with that. So I'm going to set that aside. And then here's the other card they have in there. Again, it's an appreciation card and some scan codes and talks about their podcast so same as the other uh, box so let's go ahead and breeze through this one real quick right on top look at this massive sunfish looking bait here all right so this is another bait from uh dark corner what do they call them this the the bream slide and the color on it is red breast 
sharp hooks. All right, there you go, folks. This is, I don't know what other word to use, but just gorgeous. I, I know the camera cannot possibly fully, um, you know, show you what this looks like in real life. It's just gorgeous. And they're pricing this at $25, $25 retail. Next item is the Robusto. And as you see, they gave us another sticker and a card for Robusto. Sharp hooks, I will tell you that right now. If you look at that, nice jerk bait. Uh, what is the color, do they say? Kind of a shad color, all right. Very, very nice. And they list this as, let's see here, Robusto, $10. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care how you cut it, $10 for this I think is a good deal. Again, it's hand painted. So, seems fair to me. What do you guys think? All right, next item. This thing is, all I can say is wow. This is um, um, called Hatfield Custom Tackle Hand Carved Balsa Crankbait. And, gosh almighty, this thing is, uh, dare I say, stunning. Again, another circuit board bill here. But let me give you a close-up look at that. That is just gorgeous. Looks like this is 8 out of 75. Is that possibly what they mean there? Number 8 out of the series of 75. Very, very nice. And again, I don't know if the camera, I don't know if the camera captures it. This is priced at $38, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that's worth $38? Would you pay that if you saw that in the store? Bearing in mind, this is a one of a kind. Now it makes me afraid to even throw it. Nobody wants to lose a $38 bait. Next, we have another, uh, looks like uh, glide bait. This is uh, custom painted lures by Brian. The um, Tiny Clash is what this is called, Tiny Clash. Uh, again, we have some more stickers. And take a look at that, folks. This has a interesting tail because it's oriented sort of, um, at, you know, as opposed to up and down, which you would expect. This is oriented more like, I don't know, like what a dolphin would be. So it's kind of interesting. But take a look at the color on that. Very cool. So, okay, that is um, Custom Lures by Brian, $25. All right, moving on. This one is called the Flippin' Stick Bait Company uh, S-Style Walker. The color is Perch. Give you a good look at it there. Very, very nice. I bet you this walks very nicely. Uh, the paint job is gorgeous. The, the hooks, all these hooks are sharp. So these are that's one of the things I've noticed right away is they use good hardware, it seems. You can hear the... So it's got knockers. Nice looking bait, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is uh, flip and stick, and the uh, they call it the Sammy. Fifteen dollars retail. Very nice. All right, last item in the box from Robusto Lures. This is uh, called Little John. Give you a good look at it there. Nice looking bait, and uh, let's see if they got the color on it. I do not see the color, but. This is uh, obviously a good spring, I think, bait. Nice finesse size. All right, so that is the uh, Ro the Robusto Little John, and they have that listed for 10 bucks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There are the first two months of the People's Champ Box from Dark Horse Tackle. And again, these are $75 subscription boxes. What do you think? Did I get my money's worth? Should I continue on with this box? I'd be really, really curious about what you guys think, and I would love your opinions. Uh, are you guys going to buy this? Do any of you out there subscribe to this box? I've asked around, and so far I haven't run across anybody who is, so I don't know. I, maybe this is a very limited kind of thing where there aren't that many. And frankly, I don't know for how long they'll keep doing it. So uh, my thought is that I'll keep buying at least for now, because they are, in fact, custom baits, and then I can stop all those other subscription boxes because, after all, I don't need any more of the same thing. So that's my plan, and I uh, 
I wonder what you guys think. And would you appreciate these box openings into the future? If I'm not doing the, you know, the monster bass, do you want to see, you know, the Dark Horse Tackle or the Hendrix or, you know, there's another one coming my way that I'm very, very eager to show you. And so I won't, you know, I won't uh, do a spoiler right now, but um, that's kind of the area, you know, that's the direction I'm going, these small companies. So love some feedback from you guys. I am so, so grateful that you decided to join me today. I appreciate it very much. I know this is a long video. I apologize. Kind of, <laughs> kind of making up for some lost ground a little bit, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining me. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and Facebook and watch for Saturday. Link above. You know what it is. Three minute grab bag giveaway the day we've all been waiting for. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm going to bid you a fond to do, and we will see each other again. So, until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, take care. <laughs> And so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look inside this box. And actually, I have two of them. I have, this is the inaugural, inaugural, let me try that again. This is the inaugural, <laughs> this is the inaugural, <laughs> inaugural box. Um, so I believe it was February was the first box.